Hey, welcome to the Jetty Jet Show. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of a quick 30-minute episode. It's early in the morning again, and I am working. And it's my first drawing for the day. And I thought I'd share with you my process of creating thumbnails. Oh, for the first time. Well, that's probably the first time I've done it before, but not, not recently, so... Just gonna check this out here. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we are live. We are live, and there's nobody in the show, which is awesome. Actually, one person liked the the show already. Yay, Cornelius Corn! Yay, you're on. So, um, yeah, um, we're gonna start this really, really quick because this is a quick episode, and you know how my brain just like goes crazy, but. This is a character I worked on. This is a sniper. I won't go into too much detail, but this is a character that I've designed last night, one of the last characters I did. And I'm going to show you guys how I start a drawing because I always show you guys kind of. You need to clear off your canvas. So, and what I like to do with these, um, this, this set is. Since I have the layout all set up, I just save the page as something. So this won't really apply to you if you're not really working on a whole uh, set of characters. But if you are, this is how you probably already figured it out because you're probably a professional and you know more than me. So, <laughs> um, 50, oh shoot, I'm, I'm hitting the wrong keyboard. Hey, uh, good morning, Gray Blood. Man, you're here every day, man. <laughs> Cino Montag, Dirty Draws. Glad you guys can make it. I mean, it's it's a random show, and you gotta just pop in, right? So the character that I'm working on is a a doctor, a sci-fi doctor, Doctor. I think his name is Doctor. Yeah, Doctor Kill. Doctor Kilma. Yeah. So yeah, I just save over the original file that I have going already, and I just delete out the, uh, I just delete off everything because it's a new file. And since the layout's all the same, I have a little presentation thing going on here, just something simple to, to catch the eye because it's, it's really boring, um, just like gray background. I don't know, it's just yeah, it's just boring without it. So let's just, this isn't about presentation. So the first thing I do when I start a character, um, is is really I look up references. I look at references, but what's even more important than that is reading the the brief or the description, or if you have your own description, or or understanding the character you want to draw. Um, whatever you want to draw, whatever comes to mind, think about uh, the emotion and the energy of the character. Like what role does the character play? Right now we're doing a doctor. The last one we did is a stealthy sniper because they're a sniper, um, and he's standing because the characters will be weird if they were laying down in the uh, the, the game um, that I'm working on. So if they tell me, yeah, we want them laying down, then I guess I'll do them laying down. But I went with a standing pose. Um, but maybe I should go back and show you guys while I do this because I can go over it. So I'm thinking about what an assassin like how how. An assassin would feel but not just not just his presence also his gesture like his attitude and and also like he wouldn't he wouldn't just choose any any random pose it has to get the feel of this cool guy like that's that's the feeling I got so it's really cool composed you know I'm gonna I'm gonna just be a, an assassin from a, a long distance um, kind of feel um, Assassin feel basically. Um, so yeah, that's number one. Number one is to think about the the gesture of the character. Um, so references, I collect the references to have them kind of jog my memory. I'm not memory, but idea about uh, the character's um, outfit and design. Design. But what comes before all of that? What gives the character life and story is the gesture itself. What would this doctor? How would this doctor um, be standing? Like, um, and not just how he would be standing. Also, this that's that's the second thing. So let's just let's just go in order. Number one, gesture. Uh, his name is Doctor Kil Kilma. Go down the list, and he's got a med suit, 
Okay. <laughs> He's had a high tech, high tech med suit. Uh -huh. uh, should have some chemical vials or stored somewhere because his sig signature ability is to pump his own power up. But it looks too weird. Doesn't need to be included. His, his team has to be more green because he's poison based character. So he's a poison based character. He pumps himself with like this 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 vial of chemicals and stuff like that. So he's got this kind of like this crazy vibe. That's what I'm getting. Like I'm I'm like I'm like seeing into his future. He's this crazy feeling dude, and and so I'm. I'm going to think of this like kind of sinister kind of pose. Before even designing the design, like the actual design, I'm going to try to figure out what his stature is, his presence. If he was a boss, I'd think of, I think of maybe he's a gigantic character because he's a boss. But maybe if you want to like, maybe small, maybe a small slim, slender character could be a boss. But it depends on whatever mood or feeling you want to achieve so right now i'm not even worrying about actual costume design isn't that crazy i just scribble that that's a pose he's ready to go there it is now this this you know this might be um difficult to some so well how can you start it look just square for the head a line for the body. Okay, here's here's a really important rule when you're doing thumbnails is you drop a little what we call plumb line from the chin to the floor and it should hit kind of center the leg. If 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 the weight is evenly distributed, then it should hit directly center. But if the weight is shifted to one leg, then it should hit the inner ankle of that leg. See? So this leg, I've done this before. You can lift it up, you can kick it. As long as this leg, see I'm using these sticks, connecting the heel from the chin or the the mid collarbone, I usually go with the chin. Um, it, he will look balanced. See, he's like, oh, I'm going to get ready to kick you. Whoop, and he kicks. See? So those are important rules. That's it. These stick figures. So gesture first before design of the character. So here we go. Let's do this. Um, so I got this thing right here. He's got this vial. Uh, let's try another one. What if it was? What if it was uh, more crazy? Let's get a little more crazy. He's hunched over. So hunched over, using this box for the body, and like this. So again, using sticks and focusing solely on gesture. Sometimes I'll get too caught up with thinking about. Um, the design of the character and 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 bog my my brain down with trying to find out a good what a good design is um and and it really slows me down but really all you have to worry about first is the gesture if you don't know how to start the character or what shape the character is going to be you can always start off with just the pose of the character and capturing his his nature so that's one he's like yes i gotta i gotta I got a vial on maybe, maybe yeah. He has a needle right here. Uh, watch, we'll go. We'll get to design in a second. So that's two poses already. I'm happy with those two. I'm really happy with those two. Um, and I'm just gonna move on to the next one so that we can keep going. Okay. So this is a quick 30 minute episode just to show you guys how to do it. Let's let's have him hunch over even more because he's so crazy. He's so crazy. He's like. <laughs> I got this vile thing and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna heal myself by injecting myself. So look how hunched over he is. And there's a little tip on hunched poses. Have the shoulder line cut through the head. See that? That lowers the body's positioning. All right. And yeah, where's the legs? Where's the legs? Okay, watch this. Here's a trick. I don't know how to place his legs. Where do, <laughs> where do his legs go? <laughs> um, first thing you can do is know for this, right? This thing right here, okay? But his body's at a, at a kind of an angle. So we need to know, oh, it's got to be centered. But since it's also kind of 3D, it kind of, we have this angle. See, straight view and... And now we can see 
the top of his feet. So those are where his feet would be. So even be, even like without worrying about where his his thighs are, because this this causes a lot of problems a lot. Sometimes it'll end up looking like this. Like, like let me show you what an unbalanced drawing looks like. See that? Looks like he's sitting down. No one can like mid sit down like that, unless you're like magical. <laughs> unless you're doing a magic trick. But yeah, that's that's the problem with that. That's the problem with not knowing where to put the um the line. It's got to be centered between the legs. This is this will work. This will work. So this is a, this is something that I can do because my brain's already already kind of used to this um kind of pose. But if you don't know where to do it, start with these circle feet first. Where you plant the feet, you can connect the legs. And I don't even worry about the knees. You see, try and make the job as easy as it possibly can because sometimes you'll struggle when you're working on thumbnails. The knee bends here. No, wait, that's weird. Maybe the knee bends over here. I, I don't know. Just, you know what? Lines. Lines. And you know what? We can just divide it in half and figure it out. And we can figure it out. Yeah. All right. So he's crazy. He's crazy. And... One of the greatest things about why is it important to do um, these thumbnails um, and this planting right here is off balance still because it just is. It just is. This one's off balance. You know what? It probably is too high up. That's why. And yeah, there it is. So <laughs> it looks like he's flipping you off. <laughs> Right. All right. Um, so crosshairs can show the direction of their faces and stuff, but you know what? That's not, that's not even necessary. We don't worry about that. All right. Um, uh, hey, Thunderman, great. He says, "Oh my God, Jet, you've given me a huge helpful th uh, tip. I'm glad it's helping you. Um, I, I'm just trying, man. I hope I hope it helps." And um, yeah, K-pop animeness is here. Dalai Lama, um, NYF, uh, four thirty-two, Zekar, Kazik, and Kidian, Kidian, Kidian Nitram. Hey, that's how we start off. Yep, we go. Hey, that's how we say hello. So, those are a few points that um you can can uh, take note of. I would love to like like write them down here, but I'm just working and talking at the same time. So, hopefully, you guys can get something out of it as I go. Okay, number number four. Let's do another one. Let's just let's just keep going. Um, yeah, the importance of thumbnailing is that um, you're gonna you're gonna be inspired. Every little notch. This can be a glove. Look, if we zoomed in, look at this. <clears throat> that can be a glove. This can be the elbow, shoulder. Maybe that's a cape. Everything you lay down can serve as. Like this can be a little arm piece for the the mechanical part of his arm. See, every the the reason why this is happening is because you're not in control entirely of all those little details. They're so little, and you're covering so much distance in in such a small scale. You know, head to toe, bam, bam. But if I were to draw a character and try to design like this, then you're like designing face, and then you're designing neck, and you're designing shoulder all the way down. You're like, oh, when am I gonna get to the feet? It's like just get to it already, you know. Just it's 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 like less than a less than an inch away <laughs> from the feet. Um, so that that's that's what how this is all gonna help us to generate ideas. But first, stick with the gesture. Let's do one more, and this is another way of doing it. So I don't so I don't know where to start with the head with. I don't like to start with the head. I'm gonna start with the torso. Maybe have a torso gesture in mind. He's just this 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 cocky doctor is just like yes i'm so proud of myself yes i'm i'm so powerful <laughs> so we raise up his chest and i think that might work for the design um so yeah see bam that's all it is bam he's got mm hmm i got the i got the vial here and i'm gonna inject it to my arm Okay, now where do we go from here? Head, yes. Now watch this. Head going down. 
head going up. Meh, 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 meh. And that's what I think he needs. Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> okay, now legs. What? What? Well, two sticks for the legs. Two sticks for the legs. That doesn't look right. This. This. Yes. I think might work. You see how his chin is right here? Boom. Hits the inner, the inner, the inner, uh, the inner foot, okay? The, the foot is like this, okay? It has to hit, like, right. Boom. The instep right there, okay? Okay. All right. So that's, that's, that's how you do the thumbnails. Now watch as we try to, okay, we'll look at these poses and we say, which one do you like? Which one do you like? Let's clarify these thumbnails and try to add a little bit of more random kind of details. Not too random. This is where you get your references and um, kind of be inspired by it, okay? It's good to be inspired. Um, how do you get your ideas? Where do you get the ideas? There's tons of ideas out there. All right, go to Google um, in the Internet the internets, and just... Google whatever you're looking for. So I looked up doctor and sci-fi, and there's a lot of references. And then you just choose whatever one that uh, kind of you know works with you. Um, I don't remember when I started this episode. Oh man. Ah, well then I start. Oh whatever. Um, you know, just we'll just we'll just go through this thing and not even worry about the time. And that's that's how we're gonna do it today. Um, but I am gonna try to. Oh shoot. Okay. Uh, okay, I like, I like this guy, and I do like this guy. Yes, 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 yes. They're kind of the same exact pose, just different, um, different positioning. Lower his head a bit. See how I just did that? He's standing up. He's standing, he's standing hunched. Standing up, hunched. Yeah. Okay, um, those two. So, all right, so we have our references up. And what are, what is the first thing we do when we look at references? Oh, do we go into and like go, hmm, armor, like armor looks like that, like that. No, don't worry about that. Just don't worry about that. Worry about first, the first thing you can worry about is silhouettes. Silhouettes. Let's 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 look at a silhouette. How do you want to how do you want to shape the silhouette? Um, and he asked. They asked um for me to make it similar to a, an older design that I did. Um, maybe I can pull it up for you guys. I'll pull it up for you real quick. Um, please, guys. Um, check out the game when it comes out because um I am kind of giving away a lot a lot of the information of the game. Um, kind of secret, but. You know what? I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. I'm gonna get fired because, <laughs> because I'm doing it for you. But uh, this is the character. Um, similar. It's gonna be similar to. Uh, this is a doctor guy. So um, I have him up, and I'm looking at him right now. Um, okay. So since we want it to be similar to that guy, we're gonna try to capture that kind of same bulky suit feel. Already the stick figure, no no one's built like this in real life. Yeah, no one's built like this. No one has a stick leg and unless you're like a zombie. Um your your silhouette would not like be that shape. So first thing is first, you can put the muscle on, on the legs in. Let me go through that real quick. Watch. I'm gonna connect. See this line here? I'm gonna put a calf. I'm gonna put a calf there. I can put a calf. See, I can put a pointy calf. I can put a rounded calf. I can just go from the from the inner thigh all the way down. I want a silhouette, a a, a shape that reads as a leg or a structure. So I'm going through the body and just filling in those shapes. All right. Now we're gonna work on the the silhouettes. So that the armor, bam, armor, did it. Okay, watch this. Boom. Uh, we got we got arm guard. See. See, let's do it. It's okay. All right, it's okay. So, finger, watch his finger now. Watch this. Is, this is something I do when you want to do crazy hands. Crazy hands. Let's get crazy hands. He's got it's turned up. See, up. Just by doing this block. Not even worry about fingers. It's all about gestures first. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Calf again. All right. Okay. I'm looking up. Let's do a big knee guard. Knee guard. Okay. Oh, like this. So like the other guy, but cooler. Because the other guy has an old school version of the suit. He, he, and I'm giving away story. Story. Let's just say this this, this version is a, a, it's a vamped up version of the other one. Um, yeah, so. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Now I'm building a lot of layers over each and every line. And normally I wouldn't do that because it gets really messy. And it becomes harder to kind of um, build ideas off of. But that's okay. That's okay. It's fine. Because we can use the eraser. <gasps> the eraser is our friend. Watch what happens when we use erasers. Watch this. Ready? I haven't used this technique right here that I'm about to do for you guys because I haven't drawn full-on blacks, black and white silhouettes. See, the technique I'm about to use is great for full-on black and white uh, silhouettes. Oh, and what I have not mentioned yet is what tool am I using? Um, first of all, it's Manga Studio. And I'm using what is called a felt tip pen. And what's good about the felt tip pen is just it just builds layers. See, one line drawn like this will be darker if I went over it like this. It just multiplies it. See, every time, and that allows you to see through the shapes and also be lighter on some lines than others. Okay, I know I'm covering a lot in one episode, but bear with me. I'm almost through it. Okay, we're gonna put a shoulder. Watch this. Shoulder, must see shoulder, bicep, see? I'm just erasing away. I'm using a paintbrush right now to erase. So it's causing some, some slight distortions. See? I'm erasing away the thumbnail. It's going to give me more shapes to work with. All right? And don't get too, too caught up in what shapes they are just make them just make them you'll you'll get something from it all right so i want him to have more of these side pouches here up oh, i'm still on okay now watch this boom structure Maybe he's got like a mouthpiece here. Oh, he's got to have vials. That's important. So dude's got like these these sci-fi vials that are probably going to be glowing, glowing on him. And that's another thing. Make these shapes stand out. Like what's important? For this character, it's going to be those vials and the needles. So the silhouette has to read. If I were to draw a needle like this, we don't know if he's holding it or not. So at this stage... We can we can also solve like issues like things that he's holding just by you know double 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 needles and the needle is actually a very difficult thing for for me to to, to design to I've done it before there finger middle finger now <laughs> uh, uh, vial or not uh, shoot um. <coughs> Needle. Okay. And I'm just gonna dab away. Just like just like Ross does. And he goes dab dab. Dab dab. Dab dab. And you gotta dab. Hey, just dab. Alright, now this guy it looks like he's now now nude, see? So if we just add some more kind of weight, width. To it, oh, more pouches, and we that would equal well, it'll turn to a suit, okay? It doesn't seem mechanical yet, so let's try to make him more mechanical. Mechanical meaning like. Robotic or mech or robotic, yeah, robotic tech, techie. Um, 
You don't want to get too messy again. So this guy's supposed to look cooler, you know. When you when you say things like cooler, I mean I don't mind it, but it it makes it um it's like pressure. It's like oh cool, cool. I gotta make it look cool. Oh man, I gotta make it look cool. Shoot, that's a I mean that's a thumbnail, you know. Is it is it the thumbnail that I want yet? Let's see. Is he cool yet? No, 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 not too cool. Let's see. There. There we go. You know what's cool? Yeah. That's cool. Like that faceless Robocop ton of helmet. Yeah. Being hidden and mysterious is always cool. <laughs> okay, what are you guys saying? Um, okay, uh, belts? Drawing belts? Did you struggle drawing belts? I'm not even like not even worried about belts right now. I'm just talking about silhouettes. Everything's just silhouettes. These are all serving as inspirational tools. Yeah, that's it. Let's try this guy. Maybe we'll come up with a cooler design. Okay, again, back to shape. See, I'm gonna be trying more a little more uh selective with these lines. I'm going to shrink my my uh, drawing point. Cursor. And that's going to give me a little more working room. So I'm just building on top of that skeleton thumbnail. And working that pose in, um, I mean, where well, yeah. Another thing to keep in mind when design when designing on top of a thumbnail is, first of all, make sure every step stage you're at you're happy with, and when you're happy with it, don't change it. Meaning, if I'm happy with the design of the thumbnails, like the initial pose, don't break it and try to do something else. Don't try to add things to the pose try to retain the essence because a lot of times a drawing gets distorted when you um, start to try to add things to your initial design it's okay to, it's okay to modify just don't change you know edit just don't change it so I'm trying to stick to that skeleton. Um, let's try to add more more shoulder pads. It's supposed to be similar to this guy, so let's try to go for that. See, I'm adding things. But I'm still trying to retain that initial <clears throat> feeling. And then we can erase. We can erase out shapes. And this is how I start off my drawings. Um, is it a is it a thumbnail that you know the doctor? The doctor's a character, man. He is a character. He's supposed to have like a cool suit. So He is a character. Cross guard. Gotta have cross guards. It's important. 
One really, really useful tip on designing, when you are designing, what's really, really useful is focusing on not trying to create so much what's new, but be inspired on what exists. This applies with everything. Uh, right now, I'm I'm using anatomy to help inspire me, and I'll, uh, that's kind of consistent with most of my drawings. Is the anatomy meaning? Um, try to um, use uh, body parts to help inspire with design. So if you can't figure out what to do for your design, think about what kind of things in the body, like structurally, what's in the body. So like there's a rib cage and there's pectorals and there's ab muscles. See? And that can be it can turn to a armor. And from there, you can add things and build off of that. See? I can go down instead. I can go, I can cave it in. I can not draw the line. But, you know, it speaks It speaks to you um, because you, you kind of recognize that structure. Something about it is familiar. And familiar, familiar, familiar. Familiar, familiarity, what did, I ah, can't do it, can't do it. Familiarity, yeah, familiarity, that's the word, is a, is a key, is a key point, key aspect in, in design. You want to be able to relate to it somehow, some way. You know, the audience, otherwise you won't care really about it. The colder and more distant it is, um, not really cold because that's a feeling um but the more unrelated and far-fetched things are it becomes like i don't really care about that like for me anyway a lot of times that's the case so this guy's suit is supposed to look cooler than the last guy so this is only one part of the stage of the process i'm i think Yeah, I think I can end it here, but um, let's just keep working on this guy's um, thumbnail. Thumbnail. Sorry if I if I speak too low. And once um, I don't like those pads. Now, update it right. The new the old one was supposed to like model similar to like Gundam type of things, really bulky and heavy. This one, um, it's going to be bulky and heavy, but more, um, you know, more, uh, what's the word, seamless, more form-fitting, not really form-fitting, but shoot, I can't think of the damn word. Um, Basically, it follows the contour of the of the silhouette. That's the uh, the design language I will go with, because technology allows that metal to be created in such a way where it it it, it bends in in you know what I mean. Old older models of robots and stuff back in the day, it was just like metal box, you know, stringy things for arm, <laughs> cylinder again. Which is a cute robot, by the way. You know, square fingers and then buttons. Don't forget the buttons. It was so easy back then. Back then, it was like whoa. And look up old school like uh, deep sea diving outfits. They had suits like this. Crap, they had suits like this. Real suits like this. Yeah, that's how robots were back in the day. But that's old school. Now we can shave off the corners. And that becomes like a metaphor for like how technology is because we're able to uh, control the materials that we have to build whatever we want in any shape that we want. You ever thought, think about that? Like when you're like driving on the road and you're looking, when you look at the cars and you're like, shit, how the hell they make that? 
how they get that how they get that piece of car metal to to like to bend like that like was there like a 3D modeling machine but no they've been doing it for a while you know nowadays 3D modeling kind of makes sense it, it kind of just poops out a shape but back in the day man and then you got to then you got to repeat that shape oh man it's crazy so i'm happy with this suit it looks a little more modern because yeah, it it goes with the contour of his his silhouette, and sticking. I didn't I didn't draw it on a separate layer. I stuck with the original. Um, I think that's where 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 I initially screwed up was I was thinking about like adding things, right? So um, I think this will work too, and I'm still gonna do another a, a rough draft, but I think the successful ones on the right. Um, 30 minutes up ultra ultraless thanks for that thanks for that um so okay this is not a, fin a finished drawing it is not a finished drawing um it is not but what it is what it is is a roadmap to our next stage of drawing and I won't cover that here of course because this is thumbnailing um, you know that's what I said I'd do oh I am the doctor and you know what's a really good way to that's right that's right the bigger the dome the more intelligent they seem. I mean, the bigger. <laughs> that's just retarded. Okay. Want to have a brain, but not like that. That's not his head, by the way. That's a glass, like like a glass container. So his head's inside there, but that silhouette is still saying that that's the size of it. And we can even go even further. Maybe he has a mask on like this. You know, sure, sure, yeah. Um, you got his glasses. Yep, Mr. Freeze. You know what I mean? That's an that's an iconic design right there. Um, and you know what? How is he injecting himself? Maybe he have these big old holes already in his arms. You know, these mechanical holes. He's not gonna stab his me mechanical suit. And I've already thought about that. I was going to do it like, you know, maybe once it in his legs. And these things are already built into him. Um, yeah. And he can do it with these. You know, come on, how? It's, it's so out of style to, to inject through clothing and bare skin, you know. You gotta, you gotta be with the times. Um, 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 um dun, 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 dun. See, I'm just adding little things now. This is like the little frosting on the cake. Okay, the frosting right now. Okay, this right here again. I'm not really putting details. It's all about shape language. I'm putting these shapes to kind of. Tell me what I can, I can do. What I can do. Okay, because the next stage, the next one, the next one, let's do this guy's helmet even bigger. Like something from um, Prometheus, if you guys have seen that. I love that, 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 that those designs. So crazy. Um, yeah, see, so now all of a sudden, he's so cool now. He's so cool. And if I just shave off some, some of his armor... I can make it resemble the the other armor when I go into the next stage when I do the cut lines and the panels um, when I do the next stage and that, that is like this so what I do now I'm gonna stop here because that's enough that's enough for now um, ah, pause okay so okay there we're gonna label it one oops one two three 
four. We'll just put that down because that's a pose, and I like I like to include things that that um uh, that was in the process. It's never happened. It never happened before where where both both of them fail, and he goes, "Oh, I, I like this pose better. I can do that pose." But I just do that in case to show like if they do if they both do fail, maybe a different pose might work better. Um, but what I do now is I just copy this, close that out, paste it here, and load them up. I'm going to show you. This is where I've done before. I've done. I usually start here when I'm streaming with you guys. I go. Um, I go at this stage, right? You've seen me, I, where I flesh out the detail. So again, when you look at it now, it's it's. It's so messy, but all of this stuff is a roadmap to my next stage, and that's the like the like the sniper. Let's look at the sniper, right? So if you look at this, and my last video, I kind of cover all this, and I used a different technique. There's there's like four. I've discovered. I don't discover. I use four different techniques, um, for fleshing out detail or building building ideas on. Okay, and right now this is more a linear technique where I use what I have here. See how messy that is? You can't really make sense out of that. But you, tr you try. You lower the opacity and you try your best. And this is this is this one, guys, is the stage where you really, really focus on design. Okay? See how everything is a, is a process? And once you get one part of the stage done, and, and you're happy with it, then move on to the next. It's hard to go backwards, and we, we kind of tend to try to go backwards, and that's what makes us all so pissed off, is that we don't understand that process to designing. So yeah, this is something I came up with for this guy, and I'm going to close him out before I change something on accident and not save it. Yeah, not save that one, because I already saved it. And I would do the same for this. Um, I'm doing this. I'm going to do this um, on my own, on my lonesome, and yeah. Yes, Sino Prometheus is the best movie. I love the art. Oh, oh, I feel you on that, Sino. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people who get angry at that. A lot of people get angry at that movie, but I loved it. I really did. I really try to put myself in that position, and in that world, just like I just immersed myself. Like I said, what if this really is? This is this is true history right here. That's how I looked at it, and I didn't see Alien, so I wasn't kind of bias towards it and I think that's a lot of reason why people didn't like it they wanted it to be something that it wasn't in a way and I, I understand I understand completely how that works but that's about it guys uh oh and the the thumbnails the thumbnails the thumbnails down um um I really you know what this is see how much see much space I have here I want to work in a larger scale but I don't have enough room for these thumbnails so what I what I've compromised with is where did my pencil go? No, not now. I just dropped. Oh. Okay, so I just delete. I just delete the ones that I, I'm working on currently. I just delete it, and then we just do the other thumbnails, like on the side, like <laughs> like these silly thumbnails. Um. Yeah, something like this. Yep, 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 yep. So thanks a lot, you guys, for joining. Um, I really hope uh, <laughs> some of that made sense because I know I go, I go so fast. I go kind of, I go as like I try to, I try to go as fast as my brain, but my my brain spasms out like a hundred miles, just like it, and I try to like cling on like. <laughs> With grappling hooks, um, so we gotta get Swifty, get Swifty, <laughs> yeah, we gotta get Swifty. <laughs> Take off your pants and shit on the floor. <laughs> oh man, um, let's do a little, a little goodbye, um, Doctor Kilma. Okay, guys, it's the end of the show we have here. Cash?
Goose? Jelani? Uchilis? This is what I do. I say hi to you guys here, and uh, your styling draw is reminds me of my mother's way of drawing. Oh, your mother must have been very, a very awesome, awesome person. Wink, wink. Uh, Rapport, who, who, my first live stream. Travis! Let's give it up for Travis, everyone. Clap hands. Clap hands. Arctic Dragon Studios. And a bunch of, a bunch of you guys. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. And everybody say it with me already. Ready? One, two, three.